I'm Milana and welcome back to Yogi Yin. This is part three of our Sexy for Summer series. We've done a lot of dynamic work with the body, a lot of standing postures, a lot of sun salutations, a bit of boot camp yoga. So now we're going to bring it down to the mat. We're going to continue with our back bends and opening up the body, really opening up the heart and stimulating the cardiovascular system and then bring it to a nice close. So I hope you enjoy it. I love your feedback, so keep it coming. Namaste and thanks for subscribing. So we're going to come down to our mat and just release into the last and up over the child. And then inhale, look between the hands and gently walk the hands up to the knees. And from here we're going to fold forward once more, bring the hands to Namaskar Mudra and rest the forehead. And then we're going to inhale and come up into Ustrasana, camel pose, a variation of it. Just supporting your lower back with your hands, gentle upper back bend. Inhaling back and then gently folding down. Inhaling to raise the body and exhale, support your lower back. Inhale, come back and exhale. And you can continue to practice like this. Or if you'd like to make it a little bit more dynamic for yourself but still a flow, then just from here, inhaling, taking your left arm to your heel and opening up the right and then sweeping that arm around and opening up to the other side. Inhaling and exhaling and inhaling and exhaling. And if this is a pose that you've practiced before and you have no lower back issues, then you can come into a full pose. And hold that for five deep breaths. Bring the head up, bring the buttocks back. Fold forward once more. And then come up. And Ostrasana Camel Pose is a beautiful pose for really, really opening the heart and stimulating the cardiovascular system and also for getting those happy hormones going. Stimulates the dopamine. Okay, when you're ready, we're going to come into Setu Bandhasana, Bridge Pose. Inhale, slide your hands down to your ankles and place them on the floor. Walk them in nice and close to your buttocks. Arms long beside the body, palms facing down. And when you're ready, inhale, tilt your pelvis and roll the way up through your spine. And then exhale and release. Inhaling to open. Exhaling to lower. And now using your arms as well, inhaling. Opening up the body and exhaling. Bring the arms down beside the body at the same time with the body lowers to the mat. So practicing in a flow really engages your cardiovascular system and it stimulates your body. But if you like to hold the pose, then inhale now, come up onto your shoulders and either bend your elbows and support your lower back here 
bringing the knees in towards one another, or interlace the fingers and hold it here for five deep breaths. And then release it, come all the way back down and hug your knees into your belly. And then extend your legs all the way down to the mat. And we'll come into our last pose, which is Matsyasana, fish pose. So I want you to roll your hands underneath your buttocks. And then when you're ready, come up onto your elbows. Now just be aware if you have any neck issues or eye issues, this is not a good pose to practice for you, so you can just stay here. But if you wish to, you can inhale and exhale. Take the crown of the head back to the mat. Big toes together. Six deep breaths here. And then inhale, lift your head, release your hands, roll your body all the way down and come into Shavasana. Arms a little away from the body, palms facing up and hips rolling out from the side, feet rolling out from the side. right hand side. And that is my sexy for summer flow. Some of the postures are quite dynamic so if you're new to yoga please take it easy and respect your body but it will as I say open up the heart it will stimulate your cardiovascular system it will get the adrenaline in the body pumping and it will put a smile on your face. So I hope you enjoy it. Love your feedback. Namaste.